are here with me again, Rasa the Dancer, and we are in this beautiful location called Pontes. And this one Italian restaurant is in Sheffield, but I think they have some places in London, so check it out. Anyway, since I'm in this beautiful location, I thought I'll give you some of my five tips situation. And this one is full of you lovely people who go to dance to congresses. And especially if you're fairly new, to the congresses or even about to go for the first time, I think you will find these five tips very beneficial. So, tip number one. If you come to the congress and you don't go with friends, you come on your own, you don't know anybody, I recommend the best thing to do for you is to go to workshops. Not only you're gonna learn a lot of amazing things, but you're gonna meet people. So if you go to the classes, you will dance with somebody immediately, you're gonna say hello, you're gonna introduce yourself, and I'm sure not only you're gonna find people like you who come for the first time, but you will also find people who've been coming for years, they have a bunch of friends with them, and they're gonna invite you to party with them afterwards. Or if they don't, you will at least know familiar faces. So when you do go and dance on a dance floor at night, you will know somebody. So you will feel so much more confident to get out there and have a good time. So my tip number one, make sure you join the workshops. So here we are again. But now is the tip number two. I love the tip number two. Well. I love it because I am a party person and what I'm about to recommend to you is to party. The best moments in congresses happen when the hours are going by and it's almost the end of the night. Now there's few reasons why it's the best time ever. First, there's always more space to dance. So if the congress is really good and it's packed, towards the end of the night you get more space and you get to dance and express yourself as much as you want. Also, all the party people, the crazy people, the people who love to dance, they stay till the end. Also, the after parties. If you stay till the end, most likely you're gonna meet somebody who has an after party, and then of course, with a little bit of drink, or not, or not, there's a lot of party people that don't drink, you will definitely find the most amazing, crazy moments ever. So, if you can't stay till the end of the night, if you cannot last, make sure you have a nap in between of the night, but still stay till the end of the night. That's my tip number two. So, tip number three is serious. I recommend you to take as many um, healing things for your feet that you can and also make sure you soak them by the end of the night in a cold water make sure any opportunity you have you raise them up because trust me when i say three days of congress no matter how tough of a cookie you are the feet will die or at least if they're not dead they're gonna do kaboom, kaboom. So you will thank me if you follow my instructions. Lift your feet up high, as many opportunities as you get. Soak them in cold water by the end of the night, especially if you do the tip number two and you stay till the end of the night, you know what I'm saying? And then make sure you bring any gels you need for just in case purposes. Look after your feet is my tip number three. Tip number four is kind of top secret, but I'm going to give it away for you anyway because I love you so much. So, I recommend when you come to a congress to make a friend, somebody from the staff. Nobody really, you know, high end, but somebody who's working at the door or somebody who's, you know, walking around with programs or giving times in the, in the classes when it's about to finish. Because if you know somebody from the staff, anything that you need, they will help you out. They will hook you up. So if somebody who's actually working in congresses sees me now talking about this, they will be really, really angry. But if you are going to the Congress, trust me, if you make a friend, not pretend to make a friend, 
you know, actually be nice to the people who are the staff of the Congress. Then when you need something like an information or an extra program because you lost one or an extra wristband because in the shower it just fell off, then you know somebody and you can ask for help. So be friendly with the staff. You will thank me later. Now, the last tip, guys. When you go to a Congress, make sure that you emerge yourself. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't require any specific uh, skill or specific thing. All it means that you do not think of how you look. You do not think of uh, what it means. You just do what you feel like doing. If you hear a song that you like, you go towards that song. If you see a person you want to dance with, you ask that person to dance. If somebody says no, you just brush it off and you continue and ask somebody else to dance. And just make sure you take everything you can. Because to be honest, if you are an easy person, you are emerging yourself in the situation, I promise you other people will be drawn to you and in the end of the day you will have a fabulous time. Also said that if you have a little speaker or a phone with the music with you and if you sit to eat somewhere or something and you play music, the, the music you like, anywhere you go, I promise you people will be around you all the time. You're in a dancing congress. This is what people want, music and positive energy. So relax, emerge yourself, and enjoy your congresses. I hope guys you enjoyed my five tips how to start the congress experience. And if you have enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, I love the comments because I learned, I learned from them so much. Now, just to remind you, this is a beautiful location in a restaurant called Pontis. And there's many, many restaurants in different places. Make sure you check them out. They let me use this space. And now I'm going to go and eat some of their food. So guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you on my other videos.